Let's talk about another interesting topic and that is food chain and food web. In the previous class, we have understood how herbivores, carnivores and omnivores act. Let's say this is a plant. Now this plant is eaten by an organism, let's say grasshopper. So plant is what? Plant is the producer. One who is eating grasshopper would be what? One who is eating, uh, gra so grasshopper in itself is a herbivores. Let's say frog eats on grasshopper. So frog is what? Frog is carnivorous. And then there can be an organism which could eat both plants as well as frog. For example, beer. And therefore beer becomes omnivores. So this is how we have understood the food chain. So from plants to grasshopper to frog to beer could be one chain. Plants to beer is another food chain. So in this diagram we have already drawn two food chains which are given. Now plants are called as the producers. Grasshoppers or herbivores are called as primary consumers because they are the first level consumer. Frog is called as a secondary consumer. And beer is called as a tertiary consumer. Clear? So that's another important thing. Now, this beer would not only feed on frog. Grasshopper could be consumed by, uh, let's say, another organism. Or frog could be consumed by a snake. And grasshopper could be consumed by a bird. Bird consumed by a snake. And then, this is another food chain that occurs. So grasshopper could be consumed by bird as well as frog and then uh, certain birds might consume frog as well in the food. So this is a kind of interlinked chain which is formed and therefore it is called as web. It is similar to a spider web. It's not just one linear flow that would be seen. There are multiple flows that could be seen. So I have a diagram here. Here, here we have the tree. Now this tree could be 